hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel it has been a moment guys but i'm back i've had a lot of life changes i'm working full time now so i am back guys i'm gonna be doing an aldi haul today i'm really excited i haven't went to aldi for a long time and it's just gonna be more convenient for me to go there today and i'm also gonna share a local grocery store little haul in there as well but if that sounds good to you please give this video a thumbs up say hi i haven't talked to you guys in a while and i'm gonna head to aldi take you guys inside see some of the aldi finds just like the olden days and head back and show you everything i got so i'm really excited let's do this guys let's go to aldi I just got back in the car and I'm so excited to show you everything I got guys I got such a fun find I am so excited about I'm in love with it I can't wait anyways I was just showing you my quarter because I got a really pretty quarter when I got my quarter back because you get like some random quarter back from the quarter you put in your cart um, and it has like a butterfly on it it's just really pretty so I wanted to show you guys but I'm gonna head back and show you my haul. So let's do this. All right guys, so I just got home from Aldi. And like I said, I did like a little fill-in haul for like produce and stuff because my Aldi does not have fresh produce as of yet. I need to check it out next time just to make sure because I haven't been there in a long time. I didn't check it out today. But anyways, I am going to let you know what is Aldi and then what is the other store. So I'm just gonna do the other store, which is Martin's. It's like a giant food brand of stores and I'm gonna get through that and then we'll get into my lovely Aldi haul and I'm so excited to share all the goodies. So at my local grocery store called Martin's, I got some black tea and we do decaf tea because we don't like to drink caffeine. Um, this is the Irish breakfast decaf Twinnings London tea and then I got some Twinnings London chai and that's decaffeinated as well um, My daughter needed some peeps for school because they're doing like a peeps taste test and They wanted some fun peeps flavors and I found two fun flavors The first one are these peeps hot tamales fierce cinnamon 
Those look so fun. They're very bright red. <laughs> Let me know down below if you like peeps. I, I'm like on the fence with them. Like I like them a little bit, but like I can't eat too many or they're just gross. Um, so I'm kind of in the middle. I know a lot of people hate them and a lot of people love them. So I'm in the middle. What about you? Let me know. And then I got the peeps sparkly wild berry. These looked really fun. I won't be able to try them out because they're for her class, but she'll have to let me know how those are. And then I got some Hillshire Farm turkey breast. It's just the oven roasted kind. Some white mushrooms, some Driscoll's raspberries. These were like a really good deal. And then Kumato. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're sweet and savory tomatoes. They're like greenish brown tomatoes and they're really good. They have a lot of good flavor. I highly recommend them if you see them at your store. And California mandarins, those looked really fresh. They were on sale. And then I got some Kettle brand potato chips, the jalapeno. Field greens, I just got like one bag of those. It's the Dole. And then some hearts of romaine. And then these are so fun. I got these at checkout and I had to grab them because I've never seen this flavor of Tic Tac. These are the strawberries and cream. I tried them this morning and they are so good, guys. If you see these, highly recommend them if you like Tic Tacs. And then some Gunter's Pure Honey. Um, this is, oh my gosh, I got the wrong, I, I was trying to get regular and looks like I got orange blossom. Anyways, hopefully that's still good. <laughs> I might have to actually return that and get a regular one. If you hear my kids in the background, they are trying to eavesdrop because I told them I have Easter stuff in this haul and I think they're trying to listen. So they're laughing upstairs. And then I got my little one some coconut water. My eight year old loves coconut water, so I had to grab her some of those. And then one last thing from Martin's and then we'll be on to the Aldi haul, what you're here for. I got some New York strip steak. I got three of those. And then now we are into the Aldi haul, guys. Aldi is beginning. So Olive Garden, signature recipe, garlic and Romano croutons. Never try these out. They sound really good. I love Olive Garden salad. Let me know if you love their breadstick and salad combination that they have the endless one. It's so good. And then I got some pure vanilla extract for baking. I ran out two days ago when I made banana bread and I needed more. Some of these cheese dip and cracker sticks. I used to love these growing up and I think I've had my kids try them one time before but they were a lot younger and I wanted to let them try them again. I don't know if they're gonna like them but they're just nostalgic to me. So I got some and I thought that'd be fun to see if they like them as a fun snack. Two things of the golden eggs and then some of these Simply Nature squeezable fruit blends, squeezable pouches in banana, strawberry, and unsweetened apple. And then these are so good, the specially selected double chocolate premium brownie mix and I highly recommend it, it's very good. All these regular brownie mix is really good too and they're both really good so this one's a little bit more pricey but not much it's literally like 30 cents more i think and you get like chocolate chips in it i guess it's just what you're vibing and feeling that day i got some boulder napkins some brioche buns and then aldi's taco seasoning i love this taco seasoning i hadn't been to aldi in a long time guys as you know i have been doing trader joe's hauls and i live an hour away from trader joe's so i'll be going out to trader joe's here and there but for now, I'll just be doing like Aldi, Walmart, Trader Joe's, like just a mixture of hauls. Um, but I love Aldi's taco seasoning. I've missed it. So I'm really excited to have some of that back in my pantry. Boulder Ziploc bags. I had no flour the other day when I was making banana bread. I had hardly enough. So I had to substitute a little bit of pancake mix to make my banana bread. And hey, it turned out good. So... It worked out. These looked really fun. I've never seen these before. These are in the refrigerated section. They're little protein snack selects. I'm sure they're, they've been there a long time, but Aldi does get like little Aldi finds. So it might be one, I don't really know. You can let me know if you've seen these before. Like little Lunchables, like mini ones. They're so cute. I got some marshmallows to have on hand. Some Nathan's Bun Length Skinless Beef Franks. Extra sharp cheddar cheese, two of those. Some light string cheese, taco shells. All these taco shells are so good. They're like light and crunchy. Um, some no pulp, not from concentrate, orange juice. All these have such good deals on stuff like this. Such a good price, especially these days with everything just being so expensive. Some Simply Nature organic shells and white cheddar. Then I got these 
all natural beef burger patties. We've tried them out many times in the past. And then I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna make some beef tips in gravy and then I'll do like rice on the side or something like that. But their stew meat is such a good price compared to like another store like regular store or Trader Joe's and it's black Ingus so it's like good meat. Um, it was $9 for almost, what is this, like almost two pounds, 1.67 pound. That's just such a good price these days for beef. So I got two of those. They're both different prices or like, you know, they vary by weight. Some of the jumbo butterfly breaded shrimp. So I got this almond peanut butter cups, cherries with cashews trail mix. Definitely more indulgent. <laughs> I've never got a trail mix or seen one with peanut butter cups, but I thought this would be like really fun and can be like my little sweet, healthier snack during the day, but not healthy at the same time. <laughs> it's all about balance, guys. So that looked really good. It has some cherries in it and some almonds and cashews, which I love almonds and cashews. And then a little bag of the original beef jerky just to have on hand. We are getting in this stuff first, the Easter stuff. And then we're gonna go to my favorite, most exciting find I've ever found at Aldi, I think. I'm really excited about it. Um, oh yeah, so this is from Martin's, but I put it in this side because this is like Easter theme. Um, this is the Utz Cottontails White Cheddar Cheese Balls. These are so adorable. And I don't know, I just had to get them because they were so fun looking. Easter is this weekend coming up here, so it'll just be so fun to have around. And it's just adorable. I love the little cottontail looking cheese balls. So fun. And I'm guessing this was an Aldi find this week. But let me know if you see this often at Aldi. Maybe they get it more. But um, such a good deal, guys. Like at my regular grocery store, this is like $9.99 or like $11. I forget per 24 ounce jar. And we had never tried out Rio's until like two weeks ago and it was really good guys okay the hype is real of loving it it's just so good it made our spaghetti taste like it was just fancy it was so good so i got the tomato basil and this was like six something the prices of course have went up on the screen by now but such a good deal guys like three or four dollars off per jar so if you see that at your Aldi, I would definitely grab some. Then we got some fun Easter goodies. Um, I'm getting my girls Easter stuff ready to go in for Easter. We're not doing a lot this year. We're just kind of doing like a pretty chill, um, not that much candy type of a vibe going on because just too much candy going on. I thought these were so fun. The little Pez candy dispensers and the little lamb and the little bunny. I think that's a bunny. It's either a bunny or a mouse. I can't tell, but. And then I got these Zero Rainbow Corns Bunny Corn Surprise. And these are just so fun because what kid doesn't like to open these little surprise eggs that like have, you know, different characters in them and everything like that. My Aldi only had two left and I was so excited. And then these cute little characters, these little Thai um, squishy beanies. Oh, who grew up with Thai Beanie Babies? I am that old, guys. I did, and I collected them. So these are just nostalgic to see, like, the little Thai um, heart tag because I grew up <laughs> collecting those, and I had, like, a hundred. I literally was such a collector of those, and I would go out and try to find the rare ones. Let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about. Thai Squishy. Oh, there goes a, Rub <laughs> a little Robicon or whatever they're called. What are they called? rainbow corns that yeah that's way different but one just fell on the ground anyways um what was i saying these are like for their backpacks so they're super cute and fun i love it they both have their little like name inside and everything like that i love thai so easter m ms because i want to make like some easter cookies with the girls and then last but not least guys my find my beautiful baby <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I have never seen a kettle this cute in my life. It is so exciting to my heart and I'm such an adult because I'm so excited about this. But look at guys, it was meant to be like, I have my beautiful lavender nail polish on and it matches the speckled, I don't know what that's called. Let me know down below if you do, but the speckled 
like vintage look. It's so pretty and then as you can tell I love this color. It's like a lavender. It's so beautiful. Such a cute little tea kettle and it just makes me happy and you're just, you know, it's good to have things that make you happy in your home. I'm so excited about it. I just love like things that are pink or purple for your kitchen, things that are just unique. So these are at Aldi right now. I don't know if your Aldi has them still. I hope they do. If you love it, that's where it's from. It was like $18.99, which is really good, I think, for a nice kettle. It has like a good weight to it. And I like lifted up the lid and everything. It felt really nice. So I love it. That is my last Aldi find. Let me know if you love this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Say hi down below. I missed you guys. And I hope you have a great Easter weekend. And I will see you guys in the next haul. Bye, guys.